Well, gracious greetings, thanks to the family and guests. Welcome to another edition of Living Water for a Thirsty Person. Well, we're going to continue this discussion about leadership. And if you remember last week, we just kind of asked that question, is everyone a leader? Is everyone a follower? Or is it both? And we said we wanted to kind of unpack a little bit uh, servant leadership. But well, we're blessed today to be in the office of our very own music director here at St. Stephen Missionary Baptist Church, none other than Sister Rochelle Beams. And I always say she has a great last name because she's already and always beaming. Uh, so Sister Beams, uh, thank you for being part of Living Water for today and sharing and doing all that you do. Question about leadership. In your own opinion, uh, what's an ideal leader in your well, leaders are not to oppress or overpower others with their authority. Basically, leaders are here to serve, to serve um, the congregation. Um, just like J Jesus demonstrated, you know, he acted as a commoner and a bond servant, humbling himself, uh, being obedient all the way to his death, actually. And I think that leaders uh, do not have to be perfect. That's pretty important. Mm. They need to be led by the Spirit. And to do so, you have to have a consistent prayer life and hide the word in your heart so that you're spiritually connected and equipped. They need to be courageous. You have to be you know, bold enough to try new things and be okay if it fails and admit it too. Mm. You know, one thing about being a leader is being able to say, I messed up. I think that your uh, your um, your group will respect you when you admit when you're when you're open and honest and transparent. So, in a nutshell, basically being humble, loving your group, mm -hmm. respecting your group and their time, and learning from mistakes. And that's how I've learned to try to be an effective leader. <laughs> and there's a scripture that I, I like to refer back on. It's in Philippians chapter 4, and in a nutshell, it says, you know, don't worry about anything, pray about everything, mm. ask God what you need, and thank Him for what He's done. Amen. So, between all of that, that's what I stand on. That's what you stand on. Yeah. Outstanding. Well, those sound like some great traits of a leader that uh, any leader worth their salt would want to hold on to. Uh, if you define yourself, what, what type of leadership traits do you kind of hold to? You shared a lot there, but which ones are your go-to attributes? I think I'm a great listener. Um, I've found that I sometimes don't articulate uh, what I'm thinking well, so I have to listen. And then once I listen, um, I usually go back and write, I write down a lot. And I find out what's the best route to tackle whatever whatever challenge I have before me. Outstanding. Yeah, listening is huge. A lot of us do not take the time to listen because really most people do want to speak. Um, we need more listeners. That's a really good point. And like you said, the Bible it says, be swift to hear. Uh, so to speak. speak. Yeah, right. Yeah, definitely a good attribute. Uh, what about, in your own opinion, your own words, how would you define servant leadership from what you've heard. I know you've had time in corporate America as well. You've been leading music here at the church environment here for a long time. Uh, but from what you've seen, experienced, read in the Bible, different things, what do you believe servant leadership is? I think just the word servant itself um, leads to define that you're serving others. Leadership is serving others, just like our model says. We're in God's service, serving God's people. So as a leader, part of that is uh, listening to others' needs, acting on it, um, genuinely caring about people, and then acting on whatever goals you have, striving for excellence you know, through Jesus in everything that you do. Wow, you said a lot there. I know one thing that leaped out, genuinely caring about people. Yes. They can tell if you're fake. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's that's worth repeating. That people can really tell if you are fake. And uh, servant leadership is something genuine, it's authentic, and you know, people connect with authenticity. So those are some great attributes. And very much appreciate you giving some insight on uh, servant leadership, leadership, uh, 
what you have done, how you are, and what you've seen over the years. Prayerfully, all of us can take some uh, takeaways from this that will help us in our prowess in leadership. It is not an easy thing. And so a closing question I want to ask, and I'm sure you've heard this before as well. Do you think leaders are born or leaders are made? <laughs> well, you know, there, there's a scripture that talks about God equipping the um, unequipped. Mm -hmm. he, he will find a nobody and turn them into somebody. Mm -hmm. So I would say that leaders, I don't know. <laughs> um, <It's a> tough <laughs> it really is. Yeah, it's, just, it's always <laughs> out there. People are like, well, well is this person just born with these natural leadership traits or is it something that can be taught? I think it can be taught, it can be learned. I had mentors in front of me and I shadowed um, others and I've learned uh, to do as they did. So in my example, I believe that uh, leaders do not have to be born, they can be trained. How would you I think there are some people that you know, were born with certain gifts here and there that may lend itself in some ways to be a leader. I think all of us have things that have to grow and uh, be nurtured inside of us and nourished inside of us to grow and develop into leaders. So Amen. Agree with you 100%. Thank you, ma'am. Outstanding and uh, really grateful for you taking out this time. Uh, tune in next week as we continue this journey. We're going to uh, walk down a little bit further with uh, what Sister Beans was speaking about in that humility. You heard her say, we are being humble. And we're going to talk about humble servant. Woo. Continue to make God proud in all you say, think, and do.